All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Thanks for taking time out of your day to check the video out. We are talking about more Xbox games potentially making their way to PlayStation. There's a new rumor circulating, and it seems like there's something going on, and we're going to find about, out about it very soon, where another big Xbox game is going to be making its way to PS5. Uh, for those who recall, earlier this year, Microsoft held a business meeting or some kind of business update where they announced that four games of theirs were going to be making their way to both PS5 and Switch. And Phil Spencer kind of took this angle of, we're going to see how it works out. We're going to see how it goes. We're not promising anything. We're not committing to anything beyond these four games. But he very much left the door, I would say, wide open for if it does go well, if we do make enough money, we're going to you know, bring more games over. And I remember that after that occurred, a lot of people basically walked away saying like, okay, well, at this point, it seems clear that eventually more games are going to come. It's just a matter of which games should we expect. So getting into the rumor here, from PlayStation Lifestyle, it says, Big Xbox exclusive will be announced for PS5 soon. Report. Numerous known insiders have claimed that a major Xbox exclusive is headed to PS5 soon, and an announcement will come as soon as next week. There's some debate among the insiders over which title is being ported, but they're all pointing towards a Gamescom 2024 announcement. The rumor began on Reset Error, where insider Shinobi602 claimed that at least one big Xbox game will be announced for PlayStation next week. Soon afterwards, an insider who goes um, as Extus on X, I think I'm saying her name correctly, claimed that the game in question is actually Forza Horizon 5, and it'll be out on PS5 within the next few months. Following this, Insider Gaming, a publication owned by reliable insider Tom Henderson, claimed to have heard that Forza Horizon 5 is indeed the next game to land on PS5, but Windows Central's Jez Corden disputes this. According to Jez Corden, Forza Horizon 5 is in development for PS5, but it's not the game that's being announced next week. So all four insiders, by the way, have dismissed speculation that the game is Starfield um, and it's worth noting that uh, this one insider, Extus, says that Starfield is currently not in development for PS5. Not to say that it will never come, but it's just it's not a game that's on the docket right now. It's not in the pipeline. Uh, but the insider does go on to say he does believe it is going to eventually make its way to PlayStation 5. And so this is pretty interesting, right? Because we, ha we have a uh, situation unfolding where one thing that seems clear and that all of these insiders are agreeing on is that next week, the next Xbox game is going to be announced for PlayStation. It's interesting that there seems to be a bit of disagreement here, but also agreement at the same time. The disagreement comes in the form of the game that's specifically going to be announced next week. At least one insider here is saying it's not going to be Forza, but the agreement comes in the form of Forza is apparently coming to PlayStation. That's kind of a big deal. Actually, I'm just going to say that is a big deal. Forza is a pillar franchise for Microsoft and has been a pillar franchise for the Xbox console. So the idea of Forza Horizon 5 or if eventually also Forza Motorsport make their way to PlayStation, I think it's safe to say that other pillar franchises such as Gears and Halo are not off the table, right? Like they could absolutely happen. Another game that some people are speculating about, though, is maybe Hellblade 2. Um, the only thing that's throwing me off here a little bit is the fact that Shinobi specifically claims that it's going to be a big Xbox game. And, you know, not trying to throw any shade towards Hellblade 2, but I don't know that that would qualify as a big Xbox game. I think it would be somewhat of a big deal if it was announced for PlayStation, but I don't know that it would really do that much, right? Like, I don't think people are going to go nuts over that. Um, Hellblade 2 pretty much came and went, and it it didn't really make that big of a splash. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to throw shade towards it. It's just, I think that's the reality. So, you know, could Shinobi be overselling how big this game is? Maybe, but I'm going to say probably not. However, if we think about something like Forza Horizon 5, yeah, I would count that as a big Xbox game, one of the biggest. And I think a lot of people would be happy about this. I mean, personally, I would definitely play it. 
um, because I've always enjoyed the Forza Horizon games. In fact, I've went on record many times saying that I believe Playground Games is Microsoft's most talented studio, and um, and they've done a lot of heavy lifting for Microsoft over the years with the Forza Horizon games. So that would be uh, really cool if it was Forza Horizon. But um, but if it's not, you know, you do have to wonder what other big game could it possibly be? Could it be something that truly shocks everybody? You know, could it be Halo or Gears? I doubt it. I feel like that's something we would hear right now. So, yeah, I'm assuming we're going to hear more about this again. This announcement is expected to be made next week. So there's quite a bit of time between now and then for all these insiders to do a little bit more digging. And who knows, maybe by the time this video comes out, there's going to be another insider or one of these insiders will give us an update. But I also just want to point out here that if we go back to the Xbox business update, Phil Spencer seemed to put a little bit of emphasis on four games, just four games. Now, if you listen closely to what him and everybody else at, you know, during that business update was saying, it was very obvious that they were leaving the door wide open for more than four games. And Phil Spencer, in an interview afterwards, it was a written interview, um, he even he wouldn't even deny that games like Indiana Jones and whatnot like wouldn't make their way to PlayStation. He just left the door open. Meanwhile, I do remember shortly after that business update and for the months following, there were a lot of people kind of latching onto this notion that it's just four games. Don't get your hopes up. You know, it's just hopium from fanboys thinking they're going to get more games from Xbox. Meanwhile, everybody with just, you know, a little bit of rationality kind of understood what Microsoft was saying, what Phil Spencer was communicating, where it's like, yeah, it's four games but the door's open. We'll see what happens. And in some ways, it seemed fairly obvious that it's going to be more than four games. So here we are. You know, we're we're in the middle of August. We're going to be going into September. And uh, there were rumors earlier this year, by the way, and I think this is worth highlighting here, from certain insiders claiming that there was basically a second batch of games that was planned for this holiday season. Well, the holiday season pretty much kicks off at least you know, when it comes to people buying games and, and, you know, big releases coming out pretty much kicks off in just a couple weeks. So Gamescom is coming up. It seems like the ideal place and the ideal time for Microsoft to, you know, make an announcement like this. And uh, it's going to be really interesting because, again, there is a group of people that, for some reason, really believed that it was literally just going to be four games and we were never going to see any other Xbox games make their way to PlayStation. And I think, you know, those people are going to be in for a little bit of a shock, potentially. Um, if not shock, they're just going to maybe be caught a little bit off guard, right? Where it's like, oh, okay. But guys, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.